Uh, the document out uh, yesterday uh, shows there could be fuel shortages, uh, food shortages, even civil unrest. Are you really willing to impose that on the British people? Well, it's very important to understand, Vicky, what this document is. This is a worst case scenario, which civil servants obviously have to prepare for. But in the last few months, and particularly in the 50 days since I've been Prime Minister, we've been massively accelerating our uh, preparations. Uh, we're trying to get a deal. I'm very hopeful that we will get a deal with our European friends uh, on October the 17th uh, or 18th or, or thereabouts. But if we have to come out on October the 31st with no deal, we will be ready. And the ports will be ready and the farming communities will be ready and uh, all the industries that matter will be ready uh, for a no deal Brexit. And what you're looking at here is just the sensible preparations, uh, the, the, the worst case scenario that you expect any government uh, to do. Uh, in reality, we will certainly be ready for a, for a no-deal Brexit if we have to do it. I stress again, uh, that's not where we intend to, uh, to end up. But you can't be sure, can you, of what that scenario is going to be. No one can be sure. And people reading that document, particularly those who rely on medicines regularly, they're going to be incredibly concerned. Well, that's why it's so important to stress that this is a worst case scenario uh, written uh, by planners so that we can look at everything that we need to do to ensure that that doesn't happen. And what we've been doing in the last few months is getting ready in every possible way, whether it's in aviation or uh, medicine supplies or uh, farming or, or whatever, so that we are ready on October the 31st, so that this country can come out of the EU, come what may, and deliver on uh, the referendum result. Uh, let's turn to the Scottish courts, uh, that uh, ruling yesterday. Uh, do you think that judges are interfering in political matters? Do you think that the judiciary is independent? I think, I think the, the British judiciary, the United Kingdom judiciary, is one of the great glories of our constitution. They are independent. And believe me, around the world, people look at our judges with, with awe and admiration. So I'm not going to, to quarrel or criticise uh, the judges. I, I, clearly, the, there are two different legal views. The, the High Court in England uh, had a very different opinion and the Supreme Court will have to adjudicate in the course of the next few days and I think it's, it'd be proper for politicians to let them uh, get on and do that. One of your ministers said he felt people were questioning judges. Well, it's very important, as I say, that we respect the independence of the judiciary. Uh, they are learned people. Uh, it's very, very important that we re there's a separation of powers in this country. And uh, judges uh, have their views. Uh, obviously, we, I disagree with the particular opinion that's come forward, but there's going to be a further adjudication by the uh, Supreme Court, and we should wait and see what they say. So finally, did you lie to the Queen when you advised her to prorogue to suspend Parliament? Absolutely not. And uh, that, uh, and indeed, the, as, uh, as I say, the, the High Court in, in England plainly agrees with us, but the Supreme Court will have to decide. We need a Queen's speech. We need to get on and do all sorts of things at a national level. We've got a fantastic... Well, here we are, discussing shipbuilding. We're going to be launching uh, five new Type 31 frigates. We're going to need bills on education, on health, on housing, on technology, on our, our, our vision for investing in, in science, the space programme, all the things that we want to do uh, on environment, stopping the export of, of, of waste overseas and plastics. There are a huge number of things that we want to get on with and do. You can't do them. We've been going on uh, in this parliament now for longer than any time since the Civil War. We need a Queen's speech. We need to, to get on with things. And parliament will have time, both before and after that crucial summit on October 17th, 18th, to talk about the Brexit deal. I'm very hopeful that we will get a deal, as I say, at that crucial summit. We're working very hard. I've been to, you know, I've been around uh, the European capitals talking to our friends. I think we can see the rough area of a landing space, of, of how you could do it. It will be tough. It will be hard. But I think we can get there. And the crucial thing is, if we can't get a deal, and I really hope we can, if we can't, then we will be ready to come out on October the 31st, deal or no deal. And that's what uh, this is all about.